this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing a review um, for one of my most anticipated books of the summer. That book being I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. I was so excited for this book because it is non-binary non -binary own voices as and besides just having not really knowing of any that are like that since I also identify as non-binary I was super interested about this and super excited to get into it so what follows Ben who has figured out they are non-binary and has decided to come out to their parents it does not go well and they are promptly kicked out of their house and are forced to live with their kind of estranged sister who they haven't seen in like five years or something like that. It is in the middle of their senior year and they have to move to a new school and it's just not going so well. Um, and it's just about them kind of figuring out where to go from there and how to kind of open up again and to trust people and it's just so lovely. Now like I said this is Own Voices which is very now I really enjoyed is a hard word for me to say because this I found a very hard book to read in a way um, I did connect with Ben a lot um, especially kind of struggling with that and trying to figure it out and learning to trust people and dealing with body dysphoria and not feeling like what you're presenting feels comfortable or right. I thought that was so well done. Now, this is not a negative of the book. It's not a critique in any way, um, but I did find it, it's not hard to connect. Like that was the opposite. Like I almost connected too well, um, but this book felt so stifled to me. And I think that was on purpose. Like I said, this is not a critique. I'm not saying it needs to change. It's just Ben has gone through so much and they have kind of shut down a little for good reason. And um, it feels very just muted and quiet. And that made it very hard to read. The whole time I kind of felt like I was, I couldn't draw a fully deep breath. I was just kind of holding my breath the whole time, waiting for the next bad thing to happen, like Ben was. And that made it a very tense read. So I guess just be aware going into it. I, I would definitely highly recommend it, but do be careful because there is some not great language. There is some misuse of pronouns, accidental and kind of on purpose by different characters um but it does it was very hard for me to read um kind of being there kind of worrying with Ben what was going to happen next and trying to figure out where to go from where they were and so just like the whole time I was holding my breath and there wasn't even the little moments of levity that this book had the brief moments of happiness or joy or whatever were still kind of tinged with that wariness of I can't really trust anything which made it like I said so hard to read but at the same time so impactful because it just really highlighted kind of what was going how Ben felt in that situation and I just have to say, because I know this is Own Voices, and Mason Deaver is also non-binary, I just hope that it isn't drawing from what you know, like, you know, write what you know. I'm hoping Mason had an easier time than Ben does, because always I want to give Mason a gigantic hug. But I did love this book so much, and I took so much from it and I would definitely recommend it but only read it if you're in a good headspace and you can take care of you 
because like I said, it is a little hard to read. But that is my review of I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment box comment section down below. If you read it, what did you think? Am I spot on? Did you not have the same reaction? I'm just really curious. I know um, some other booktubers have read it and absolutely loved it and I completely agree. Um, I just wanted people to be aware that for me it was a bit of a arduous read. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now!